Yo, what's up? Dr. Swole here, MD bodybuilder, back with another video. So with the COVID-19 pandemic going on, most gyms in North America are now closed and you might be home right now looking for workout inspiration. I wanna emphasize that it's certainly possible for you to at least maintain or even build muscle while you're at home. However, it does take some creativity and intelligent programming. Now I've been getting a lot of requests to film home workouts. Of note, Adam Min says, hello Dr. Swole, hope you're staying healthy. I'm writing you to inquire about when you will be posting a home workout video. That's where we come in today. I'll be going through a full body at home workout that doesn't use any gym equipment. This workout is going to be unique from a lot of the home workout body weight style training videos you see out there because it is specifically designed to allow you to progressively overload over time to really get a hypertrophy stimulus. All right, so here's a brief overview of the workout just so you can see what you're getting into. On the left, you've got exercises here and on the right, we've got sets. I haven't actually specified exactly how many sets to do, I've just said four plus or three plus. You basically want to adjust the number of sets to allow you to progress and also to produce some level of soreness afterwards. So we're going to start off with a pistol squat or just a squat for the quads. Then we're going to go on to a single leg RDL as our hip hinge movement to target hamstrings and glutes. Then we've got push-ups for the chest, single arm rows for the back. Then we've got curls for biceps, diamond push-ups for triceps, and then upright rows for the side delts and traps, single leg calf races for the calves, and then we've got a super set of abs weighted crunches, followed by leg raises. Note that the spaces here indicate longer rest periods. So when you see two exercises together, that means you'll be performing a superset. You'll notice that I haven't actually included rep ranges here. You should choose a variation of the exercises I show so that you can get at least six reps and target the six to 15 rep range. Although I understand that since we don't have access to heavy weights, you may end up doing more reps. So just do as many as you can and you wanna be aiming for about one rep shy of failure. For the most part, I would actually also suggest training to failure on your last set of an exercise. That might not apply if you're more advanced and you're training four or more times per week, but we'll talk about that more in a later video when we go more in depth on the programming for these types of full body, no equipment splits. We're gonna be showing you some of these no equipment exercises. The keys to building a program are that you want to choose exercises that allow for progressive overload. Ideally, what that means is adding some sort of increment in resistance, the easiest of which is adding weight. So I know we don't have a gym. We're not going to use dumbbells today. So to demonstrate, I'm going to be using two items that I think most of you will have and you'll be able to add weight to. That's a backpack and a suitcase. Note that this is also going to be really useful if you're traveling, so you can just take your suitcase and work out in your hotel room. In terms of adding weight, whatever you can find around the house, I personally find that taking hardcover books like these are going to be a great way to add weight. So we've got some books here, which I'm going to put in to my backpack. In terms of adding weight, you can use whatever you find around the house, your computer, canned food, or bottles of water. Basically, you want to think of something where you can add increments of weight too easily. So adding another book or adding another bottle of water is going to increase the resistance as you get stronger. As I've talked about in my basics of training series, progressive overload or increasing the amount of weight or resistance you can move over time is the best way to drive hypertrophy. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a squat and we'll start off with a bilateral squat and move on to a pistol squat for a more difficult variation. For the squat, you're gonna start off feet shoulder width apart, slightly turned out, and you're just going to go down and back up. From the side, you wanna make sure that your lower back stays in a neutral position and you want to squat as low as you can, ideally down to parallel or lower, and you want your knees to track over your second toe. And back up. If you want to add a weight and sort of a, as a goblet squat, you can carry your backpack and again go down. And when that gets too easy, you can move on to the pistol squat. 
Now there are a few ways you can do these. Obviously unassisted pistol squads all the way down are pretty difficult. So to start off, I'll show you some easier versions. I think the first one would be a boxed pistol squat. So squatting down to a box, or in this case, we're just gonna use a chair, whatever you have around. So standing on one leg, leg up straight and sit down and come back up. The next variation I'm gonna show you is an assisted pistol squat. So you're gonna be just holding onto something for support, like this chair here and then going down. This might let you go a bit lower and back up. And lastly, we'll show you the unassisted version. And back up. If that's still too easy for you, you can always add weight. So here we're gonna take our backpack. I'm going to hold this up in sort of a goblet squat fashion. And add weight as you get stronger. All right, so our next exercise is going to be the Romanian deadlift. We're going to do a single leg version. So you're going to stand on one leg and you're going to hinge at the hip and lean forward like this and back up. To add weight, you can use your backpack again, of course. Go down until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. And back up. Next, we're gonna do push-ups. So, my hand's a bit wider than shoulder width and uh, keep a straight line from your ankle all the way up to your shoulder and down and up. Try and get a full range of motion. I like to think about going down until your nose could touch the ground, or your chest was going to touch the ground. For a more difficult version, you can put your feet up on some sort of incline and do push-ups like this. And again, to add resistance, we can use our weighted backpack. So I'm just gonna put this on now and try some more push-ups. If that gets too easy for you, you can also try a one-arm push-up. I don't know if I can actually do this, but... <laughs> Alright, so the next move is going to be a one-arm row. And for this one, we'll be using a suitcase. The suitcase is actually kind of nice because you can load more weight into it. So you can brace yourself against a chair or a table or a wall, and you'll bend over, keep your lower back straight, and you're going to row the weight up. Focus on pulling with your elbow. So you want most of the motion to be coming through your shoulder and not actually from bending at the elbow. Next, we've got single arm curls for the biceps. So we're back to the backpack. You're just going to, you can do these standing or seated, but you're just going to curl the weight up with your arm in a supinated position from the side. Keep your arm tucked in against your body and just curl all the way up and back down. Make sure you're controlling your eccentrics. So you're going to superset your bicep work with tricep work. So after curls, we're going to go into diamond push-ups. This is analogous to the close grip bench press in my other programs, which you might already be doing. So to do these, you're going to do push-ups, except you're going to have your thumbs touching together and make sure you keep your elbows tucked as you're going down. This will make sure you emphasize the triceps and not the chest. Again, to make this harder, you can take your backpack, add weight to it as you get stronger, and continue like this. All right, next we've got upright rows. So these will target your delts and traps. So you're gonna Take your backpack or suitcase, hold in the center, and pull upwards. I like to take a little pause at the top and lower it under control. Next, we've got single leg calf raises. So for this, you're gonna step up on a stair or any kind of step, and you'll hold your weight in 
your hand, then just go all the way down, all the way back up. Try and pause for a second at the bottom and at the top and lower under control. This will make sure that the force goes through your muscle and not just bouncing through your Achilles tendon. All right, now for some abs. I like choosing ab exercises that allow you to add weight because this will let you to progress over time and make things harder. We're going to start off with a weighted crunch. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. I like almost a toe touch version where you have your legs straight and your arms straight up. So you've got your weighted backpack up here and you're going to crunch up and think about flexing your lumbar spine, which is the main action of the abs. Try and get a full range of motion and really try and touch the backpack up to your toes. So we're gonna superset this with leg raises. You're gonna take minimal rest and do leg raises like this. All right, so hope you found that useful. Just a few more points about this workout. Now this workout can serve as a standalone program if you repeat the same workout two to three days per week. You should space the workouts out evenly so that you have enough rest in between. This can certainly be an effective way to train, especially for beginners or early intermediate athletes. For athletes that are more advanced, like intermediate or beyond, or if you're training four or more days per week, I would suggest adding in a second day for a variation, and we'll show you a day two workout in the next video. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the workout. If you wanna see the day two workout and how that knits together into a full program, make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you hear about that video when it drops. See you next time.